And we're back for another guitar unboxing and demo. Guys, this is a guitar from Firefly Guitars. I have a long history of being a fan of Firefly Guitars. They make affordable, high quality, often difficult to get instruments. The guitar in this box is one of the Firefly Semi Hollow 338 models, and this one has one of the new upgraded cool finishes. This guitar costs less than $200, and from the pictures, it looks amazing. So let's go ahead and get the box open and check it out. All right, guys, so if you've been watching the channel for a while, you probably know that I really like to review the Firefly guitars. They're great guitars, and I've got this one here that I've had for, for years now. Uh, this is like the original, you know, just uh, sort of transparent red uh, 338 that I got. I got this, I don't know, like almost three years ago now, and this has been a great guitar, and this is like, I think I bought this thing for like 140 something dollars. It was really, really cheap. And like I said, it's a cool semi hollow body guitar. Now, since Firefly originally brought this out, they've slowly been adding new models and then upgrading the existing ones, you know, over the past couple of years. So the guitar in this box is essentially one of the newer upgraded versions of that red one. And now this guitar, it's, it's got a really cool top on it, really cool finish. And so this one I think goes for $189. Um, but if this one is anything like the other Firefly guitars that I've checked out in the past, it's going to be, you know, really good quality for, for the amount of money that you're spending. Now these days, anytime I open a uh, guitar box, you know, with all the crazy stuff that's going on these days, I want to be very careful when I open packages. So I've got all my, uh, my unboxing gear here that I'm going to go ahead and put on. And, uh, you know, I'll just slip this on, make sure everything is safe. And then we'll open the box. Okay, got the helmet on. There we go. I think this is the correct glove. I can't even see where my hands. No, it's not. It's got it. There we go. Let's try this one now. Okay, that feels good. Okay. Okay, got the helmet on, the gloves on, now I just need my box opener. All right, I have successfully donned my safety gear. Now, let's see about getting this box open. If I can find it here. Okay, now well, I think we gotta flip it over. It's down a little bit. Okay, a little bit there, and one more. Ah! Well, almost. Victory. Victory is mine. All right. Flip this thing back over again. Now, let's reveal what is inside this container. So most people are buying these guitars from Amazon.com. Sometimes you can also get them from the Guitars Garden website. But one nice thing is they come double boxed. You know, for a semi hollow body guitar like this, if they get knocked around too much, they could be, I think, more easily damaged than a, a solid body guitar. But fortunately, with the thick cardboard they're using and the fact that they're double boxing it, it really does a good job of protecting the guitar. Okay, so let me get this second box out here. Now, this time, I think this is going to be the box with the guitar actually in it. Let's take a look here. I was correct. Okay, it's got the little styrofoam bag here. Let's just tear this thing to shreds and reveal what is inside. Ooh, beautiful top on this. I can barely see it through the helmet, but it looks incredible from here. Let me, let me pull this out and show you guys. Oh, wow. Look at that spalted maple burst top. That looks amazing. I mean, it looks amazing, right? It's actually really hard to see it with this helmet on, but oh, let me take the helmet off here. All right, well, we got the box open, so everything looks safe. I'm gonna go, go ahead and take my gear off here. The gauntlets first, the helmet. Oh, 
Boy, every time I almost die on that thing. Okay, so right off the bat, guys, this finish is really beautiful. It's a, it's like I said, it's a spalted maple top, but it's got a nice sort of a tobacco burst coloring to it. Now, like I said, this guitar it goes for about 189. I mean, for 189, I mean this is this is incredible. Um, now, the the red one I have here, these days those guitars, just the plain color ones, I, I think are going for about 159. So it's like 160 or 190. So for an extra 30 bucks, I mean, you're getting a beautiful finish and the extra binding. And to be totally honest, this is a much newer build this guitar is than, than mine. So I expect the overall quality and everything just to be a little bit better just across the board. And it comes with a few extra things too. It's got a, a pick holder and some picks. And in here we've got a, uh, you know, a cable and then the Allen wrench to adjust the truss rod on the guitar. Now I'll go over some more specs about the guitar in a few minutes, but first of all, let's listen to how this thing sounds and check out the playability. So we'll go ahead and plug it in and check it out. And then I'll go through, you know, the scale length and the materials and all that stuff afterwards. All right. Now, one thing real quick, guys, I know you've probably heard this before, but if you enjoy videos like this and you enjoy checking out cool, affordable guitars and you have not already subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'm really trying to build up the channel because I've got my eye on a complete full suit of armor, but it's a little expensive for me right now. But if I get the channel big enough, I think I can justify getting it. It'll be a business expense. Anyway, this thing is looking great at first glance. So let's go ahead and plug it in and listen to how it sounds. <laughs>
All right, guys, how did it sound to you? So I want to talk a little bit about some of my impressions of playing this guitar, the playability and so forth. Uh, first of all, I got to say, very easy guitar to play. It's got the same neck profile as the original 338 that I have. It's sort of a like a slim C-shaped neck, so it's kind of rounded, but it's pretty thin. It's thinner than I would expect for a guitar of this style, so it's very, very comfortable. Uh, this would be a good beginner's guitar, uh, not just because of the price, but because it's easy to play. Now, also, I want to talk about the frets, because something that has always impressed me about the Firefly guitars, and this one here is no exception, is how nice the frets are. These are sort of medium jumbo frets, so they're pretty big, but they're not like gigantic shredder frets or anything like that. But the real important thing here is the uh, the ends, the fret ends, are finished really nicely. So uh, you don't have to worry about scraping your finger up as you shift around on the neck. Uh, these are, you know, they're not sharp at all. Now, in regards to the setup of the guitar out of the box, it's pretty good. It's not flawless but it's definitely very, very playable. Now, when I review guitars, I like to do as little as possible to them before I do the review. I feel like the review is, is more fair that way. The only change I made as far as the setup on this guitar was I adjusted the height of the pickups a little bit. I uh, brought them up closer to the strings, but I didn't change anything as far as the action or even the truss rod or anything like that. Now, that being said, depending on where you live and the climate, you might have to make more changes, especially as time goes by. It's very common for a guitar to sort of adjust to the air uh, in the area that you're in, and then that might cause the neck to bow a little bit or something like that. But those things usually can be just adjusted out with the truss rod adjustment and things like that, and the raising the saddles or the bridge down here. And of course, they are providing you the Allen wrenches and stuff that you need to do that. Now, as far as the pickups go, of course, these are the proprietary Firefly humbucker pickups in here. One thing I discovered, actually, on my old guitar, when I went to modify it, I, I ended up switching a new pair of humbuckers in that old guitar, the red guitar, and I had assumed, because of the price of these guitars, that the pickups were not wax potted. I was wrong about that. Uh, they are wax potted, so they're actually going to do pretty well if you're playing at high volumes, they're not going to have bad feedback problems, or at least they shouldn't. So while I think you could definitely switch the pickups in this guitar just to give it a different sound or a different character, leaving the original pickups in is, is not going to create any problems for you. I mean, they're fine just the way they are. Now, as far as the fit and finish goes, guys, I mean, this is just, I mean, this is a beautiful looking guitar for 189, 190 bucks for this guitar. This is probably one of the most beautiful sub $200 guitars that I've ever seen. Now, as far as the rest of the specs of the guitar, sometimes the listings for these guitars are not super detailed. So I am speculating on a little bit of this. I assume this uh, spalted maple top is a veneer. Now the neck, I can tell you just from looking at it, it's a maple neck and I believe the sound block, basically the inside of the body is mahogany. It's a nice rosewood fretboard, 22 frets. And if you look on the back there, it's a set neck guitar, right? Really, really beautiful. Even, even the less expensive ones are set necks too. And as for the controls, it's a standard Gibson style control layout. We've got a three-way toggle switch, two volumes and two tones, and the input jack down here on the front of the body. Now guys, when it comes to the Firefly guitars, I always have to stress the situation of the availability of the guitars. Here's the deal. There's a lot of people who are fans of these guitars. They're really popular, you know, and rightly so, considering the quality you're getting for the price. So these guitars typically sell out pretty quickly, and then they'll be out of stock for a while before they get another batch of them in. So as always, I'm going to put links in the video description below where you can find this guitar. I'll put a couple different links down there for you. But here's the thing. If you go to the link and it says out of stock or unavailable, that's a very common situation. So just check back in a couple of weeks and, you know, you can see if they have more of them in stock. Now, there's even some Facebook groups that are dedicated to these guitars. If you want to join one of those and then, you know, people in there will keep track of like when they're in stock and when they're out of stock and new models coming out and that kind of stuff. But yeah, guys, these guitars live up to the hype. It's really no surprise at all once you play one of these why they sell out so quickly. And I think with these cool new tops, like this one, and I, you know, I believe they even have some uh, like burst flame tops available now. 
They're just really, really cool, and they still have the price under 200 bucks. I mean, it's really tough to beat this. All right, now, Firefly owners out there, I know there are a lot of you. If you own one of these newer 338 models, let us know what you think of the guitar in the comments section below. I would love to hear what you think. All right, guys, so that's about it for today. Put links to the guitars in the video description below. I will also put my social media links and also my 50% off link for my new instructional video down there, okay? Thanks a lot for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you soon.